welcome to Costco. But I'm not here to tell you all the things you should be buying today. I'm actually here to tell you all the things you should not be buying. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you 10 things that I don't buy at Costco. Maybe you shouldn't buy them either, we'll see. If you love Costco videos, hook me up with a thumbs up. Let's get going. Let's kick it off with Christmas decorations. Are they gorgeous? Yes. Could you pick up your Christmas tree here and just have it be stunning in your living room? Also, yes. Specifically, it's, um, things like this, this giant nutcracker. It's like, it's taller than me. It's a six foot tall nutcracker for $350, $350. This is astronomical. In fact, you can get most Christmas decorations at a lot of thrift stores because people get them and then they're like, I don't wanna store all these for 11 months of the year anymore. And then they donate them and then you can get them in a discount. Look. You can get a lamppost for $100. I think I got my Christmas tree for $100. All right, th these are actually super cute. Frosty? But I don't want a story. Just say no. The iDesign Pro Keeper. It's even on sale right now for $15.99. Don't waste the $15.99. Just don't do it. Uh, I bought these to try and organize my fridge. I ended up donating all of these. These were awful. First of all, they don't work. And these little bins on the bottom, they either collect water or you're supposed to add water to create more humidity. And you know what happens is you forget that there's water in the bottom and so you'll pull it out of the fridge and water sloshes all over you and the floor and the fridge and creates more cleaning. Normally $20, currently 16. Just keep that 20 in your pocket and just don't mess with it. Small kitchen appliance aisle. I would skip most of this. Here's why. You buy like this sur la table. I'm not saying that right. <laughs> air fryer, it's $100. You can get all kinds of air fryers on sale like Amazon Prime Day, Black Friday for way cheaper than that. Why, this one's fancier because it has a name brand on it. We have the Ninja Foodie 10 in one countertop duo pro. It's basically an oven. You have this like smokeless air fryer situation. All of these appliances you buy because you think it's gonna make dinner easier. How does she know? And what happens is you realize it clutters your counter, it clutters your pantry. You don't use it as much as you thought you did. And it ends up at the thrift store. I have seen so many of these small kitchen appliances, one trick ponies end up at the thrift store to die. I'll allow a blender, but mine also doesn't stay on the counter and we use it every day. My husband uses it every single day. Immersion blender, this, this Cuisinart for 39 is actually a pretty, pretty good deal, but only if you use immersion blenders. If you don't, it's just wasting your money and taking up space in your kitchen. That makes sense. When you first walk in the store, you're gonna be smacked with things that look beautiful and that are not the best deals. And one of those is mattresses. I am not gonna be buying my mattress at Costco. It sits in a box for how long? And how many of you just have a car? You can't fit it. How are you gonna transport it? You have to call a friend for a truck and the quality is not there. Especially when you could just buy a Helix mattress. Helix makes premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and shipped directly to your door. So check it out. When I was putting together my guest room for when my college age daughter comes back on like holidays and summers, I wanted something that was nice and comfortable, but we didn't need a whole room dedicated to her all the time. So I was able to upgrade this twin mattress into a Helix, the Helix Moonlight Lux. It is fan. Fantastic. Like, I feel like I want to come down here and sleep in this bed. It's so comfortable. Every mattress in our house right now is a Helix. The one in my room I've had for two years, best sleep ever. In fact, I got a new comforter today and I curled up in it and I was like, oh my gosh, I never want to leave this bed. It can be totally scary to purchase a, a mattress online instead of trying it out in the store, but it's amazing. You take an online quiz, it takes like a minute, no time at all. It will recommend which mattress you should have. It comes to your door wrapped up in a box. I put these mattresses on these beds by myself. I had no help at all and it was the easiest. You have a 100 night sleep trial, so you can test it, see if you like it, see if it's going to work for you. They have a 10 year warranty. They have financing options if you need that and they have a wide variety of mattress levels. They have a budget line of mattresses that you can try if you're just getting started. They have the Lux line, which is all the mattresses I have and they have a brand new line, the Elite. So if you want to invest in like the top, top of the line mattresses for you 
or your guest room. The Helix Sleep Elite line offers six different models of mattresses, so anything that you pick will fit you the best. All the ones I have in my house are the Sunset and the Moonlight because they're the softest mattresses, and I love to just sink into my mattress. They're gonna give you guys a deal today. It's 20% off your Helix mattress and two free pillows. The only thing you have to do to get this deal is go to helixsleep.com slash frugalfitmom. It is the first link down in the description box, 20% off of your Helix mattress two free pillows. You will not regret it. It's going to be the best sleep you ever have. Just try it. Try it. Do it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Thank you to Helix. Let's get back to the rest of the video. In the deli section behind me, they have an amazing, gorgeous display of pre-prepared food. So you can pick one up and cook it for dinner tonight. And they're stunning. They're so aesthetically pleasing that it makes me want to buy all of them. They even have this chicken pot pie. I was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And then I looked at the price. Chicken pot pie is a budget meal. It's very inexpensive to make yourself, but all these pre-prepared meals are anywhere from five to $7 a pound. So that chicken pot pie is in excess of $20. What? What? How do we turn a budget meal into a $20 dish? I know it's for convenience and the quality is there and they're delicious. But I saw this fruit tray over there. It's like a couple pieces of cheese, a couple of grapes and a few strawberries for an astronomical price. So when it comes to saving money, this deli section is not it. The only thing I can recommend over here is of course the rotisserie chicken. Are you ready for a really unpopular opinion? Are you ready for this? Okay, so Costco has their gift card deals, which is a great deal. Get $100 and only pay 80. So no matter what you get, it's awesome, except for this one. Did I just trigger you? Did... <laughs> Go tell me down below in the comments, are you a crumble cookie lover or not? I am not. Their cookies are not that good. There's other large cookie shops that I've been to with a high quality, delicious cookie, and this is not one of them. She did not. I have got to tell her what I think. Oh, no. All of their cookies just taste sweet. They just taste like sugar. There's no nuance to it. There's no salt. There's no chocolate. There's no butter flavor. Uh, it's just sweet on sweet on sweet on sweet. No way. What they've done extremely well is marketing. They have a scarcity principle, so they're like, if you don't get the flavors this week, you're gonna miss out. You better get them this week or they're not coming back. And that is brilliant. Extremely brilliant marketing. And they are here at Costco. $80 is what you'll pay here for $100 worth of gift cards here. But I'm sorry, it's gonna be a no for me, Doug. Now, I do enjoy a milk substitute in the form of almond milk. So I've tried all of the brands and all of the flavors. My favorite is the Great Value Unsweetened Vanilla, and I've tried these as well, and the texture is extremely off-putting. Uh, these are not my favorite from a taste and quality standpoint. They taste like a little stale and like really cloyingly thick. Just bypass all of the Kirkland almond milk. Uh, this is not it. Something else I'm super cautious about is the meat section. You wanna pay attention to your prices. I typically don't buy my meat here because I can get better prices for similar quality at other expensive stores that run sales all the time. For example, right here, they have a farm-raised salmon. It's $11 a pound. Uh, wow, I can see it on sale for wild caught for six to eight dollars a pound so i would much rather do that at a different store than come here their boneless skinless chicken breast here is like always 350 a pound that's some of the most expensive chicken breast in my area at any other store it's in the two dollar range and when it goes on sale it is a dollar 79 a pound if you are doing a one-stop shop and coming here and just grabbing like all your meat maybe maybe you're spending more than you need to because it goes on sale everywhere else often Welcome to the snow tracks by Yak Tracks. Don't buy these because they don't work. And this is from someone who did buy these and also has the real Yak Tracks. These are $13 and you'll waste $13 because they will slide off your shoe. If they don't stay on your shoe, they're no good. The ones I have are $40. In cases like these, it makes more sense to buy the real one, the $40 version, and be satisfied with the usage of the tool instead of the $13 version and wish you hadn't wasted $13. So I bought a package of these to taste them and see if I could recommend them to you. And my recommendation is to not, not buy them unless you are willing to eat the entire thing by yourself in the span of two days. And what's wrong with that? Just set it down. 
and walk away. Ditto the chocolate coconut almonds, except for finishing these in two days, you'll eat them in one day. Ask me how I know, just don't do it. And the last thing that I don't buy at any store anymore are these pre-mixed protein shakes. The reason for this is because they add seed oils into these protein shakes to like reconstitute the protein powder. You're better off getting protein powder or if you must get a pre-mixed protein shake, come on over here and pick up the Fairlife, which does not have it. So far, it's the only brand on the market I have found so far that does not have the added oils. So make sure you're checking your ingredient labels. The little food court here, everything on here is a deal. Excellent quality, excellent sizing, excellent prices. And if you're fancy, it could even be date night. Does anybody remember when Saturday night meant date night? Would you have bought any of those products that are not my favorite? Let me know down below. If there's any products there that you hate, let me know so <laughs> I know where to steer clear in the future. Don't forget that deal from Helix First Link in the doobly-doo. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time. Bye. So just whenever you're ready. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going again. <laughs> and action. This is a world. Rolling. This is a world. Action. I'm never gonna do that. I'm sorry, I lost it. I'm sorry. That was the best thing I've ever seen.